A week after gunmen attacked a parade for veterans from the 1980s Iran-Iraq war, one of Iran's most powerful men told the country exactly who was to blame. From the Friday prayer podium, the second in command of Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps took aim at the United States, Israel and their Gulf allies. I'm telling the regime of the UAE and Saudi Arabia, who are the main perpetrators behind the sinister actions in our country and wish to bring insecurity into our territories, that you will not succeed in your attempts. If you cross our red lines, we will definitely cross yours. It was a speech designed to fire people up for the government-approved public protest that followed. No matter who the actual attackers on the ground may have been, many Iranians are already convinced of who is to blame for attacks in their country. The incident was funded by Saudi Arabia and planned by America with Israeli support. Three of them were involved. America, it was done by America, the great Satan. It was America, Israel and Saudi Arabia. In the days after the attack, the intelligence ministry said a network of suspects was in custody. All signs, investigators said, pointed to Ahvazi separatists. While one group claimed the attack, another denied it. ISIL also claimed the attack and released videos of the men they said carried it out. But Iranian leaders have remained vague about the exact identity of the attackers. One former Revolutionary Guard commander says a coordinated conspiracy involving all of Iran's enemies is to blame. Based on our experience in Iraq and Syria, Palestine, Lebanon and Yemen, we know that there is a war room with Israeli officers, Americans and Arab countries, and this war room is guiding the attackers. Different opposition groups are present in this room. There is concern in Tehran that pointing the finger at any number of outside threats takes focus away from dealing with more immediate ones, like violent separatist groups and drug traffickers operating along Iran's eastern borders. But for now, it seems that with every protest, the list of names Iranians rail against gets a little longer. ISIL, Israel, the UK, Saudi Arabia, and of course the old favorite, America. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera, Tehran.